Hello and welcome back to Wall Street Training's complex, super advanced M&A merger modeling. Through H33, and I need you to copy and paste this as a formula because I don't want to mess up my formatting here. I'll explain why this is highlighted in white in a second. I want you to copy this, control C. And I want you to go down to H37. Alt E S F. Be very slow and deliberate here. I'm going to go slow intentionally here. Alt E for edit, S for pay special, F for formulas, hit enter. Let's update each one of these numbers slowly. H40 is going to come from the merger summary. Our ending balance in 04, which is our beginning balance for tranche 1, is going to say the following. I'm going to take N21. N21 was our uses of funds. If this number was refinanced, that means this number appears. So therefore, if refinanced, if refied, this number is zero. How do we get it to zero? Because if it's not refied, so if not refied, it will be whatever my balance is. So I will take merger summary L21, which straight came from a debt sweep. Don't worry, I know you don't remember the labels, the, the cell references. I'll explain this again. L21 from the merger summary minus N21. L21 is the current balance. N21 only appears if refied. So if refied, these two numbers are the same, and they will net itself out to zero, that scenario. If we did not refi, then N21 is zero, because that was our source uses of funds, and you will have a number appear here, because L21, we grabbed that from the debt suite. We're going to follow that same logic for all of our six existing debt tranches. All six will follow that logic for the target as well as for the acquirer. So, first of all, in H40, and we also have to do a little more things than a mandatory payment, so bear with me here. H40 will say equals, control page up to the merger summary, N, uh, sorry, L21 minus N21 from the merger summary. Why are we doing this again? I'm going to hit enter first. I'm going to go control F bracket. Here's the formula again. Let me explain it. Control F bracket. We are going to take L21 minus N21. This is our actual current balance. This is only if refi. Let me explain it one more time. If I refinanced, my ending balance equals zero. If I refinance, this number appears as 39.45. Recall that this would have been a 1 to refinance, yes. And therefore, this L times this 1 will get you this number. So if you refinance and you take L21 minus N21, 39.45 minus 39.45 equals 0. If no refi, and L21 is still 39.45, and currently, since we have no refinance, it's a zero now. N21 is zero. That means 39.45 is my balance. So start amortizing that. Now, I hope that's clear, because we're going to have to use the same logic over and over. 